to want to stay cool today and drink, of course, plenty of water out there. All right, let's not waste any time and bring in meteorologist Tony Sudiku and Tony. It's going to be hot and it may, get some, it may actually get some storms out there as well. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to want a thunderstorm in your neighborhood today. That's the only way we're going to really be able to cool off because otherwise we're just going to get set to sizzle yet again. Mid 90s feeling like triple digits. That's the story. Live early warning Doppler 9 is dry as a bone right now, which means it's all about the heat. Heat advisories in place for more than a million people across nine counties. We've got excessive heat warnings further towards the east, but even if your county is not shaded here, keep in mind just about everybody east of the mountains got a shot at feeling like between 100 and 105 this afternoon. Take a look at the numbers on your screen, 92 in Charlotte already. Keep in mind the average this time of the year is 89. So we are already above the average and it's only lunchtime. These temperatures still have hours to climb. It's 91 in Gastonia, 88 in Rock Hill. And oh, by the way, the humidity is making it feel a whole lot hotter. It feels like 99 in Charlotte, Gastonia. It feels like 100 degrees. That's why there's a heat advisory. It's because the heat's just going to be dangerous. You want to limit your time outside, limit your time in direct sunlight. Of course, drink lots of water and wear light clothing because that heat is on yet again. We've got team coverage tracking this heat. Our meteorologist John Aarons is live in Gastonia where John, this heat just makes it tough to be outside today. Oh, yeah, Tony. I mean, we've been out maybe, you know, like 20 minutes and it's just unbearable outside. In fact, we got to be very careful because our equipment is actually overheating as we speak. It's that hot. Now, we've been in touch with Charlotte Medic and there's been about eight heat related calls for heat related illnesses up to this point. You think about the people that have to work outside. Just so dangerous to be out there. And those numbers that you're All right, we're having a little bit of issues with John Aaron's live shot. We'll get back with uh, Tony Siddiqui to check the forecast in a couple of minutes.